this is Bill with the Pennsylvania Center for Digital Forensics and today we're going to be taking an image of a GPS unit using FTK Imager. Now in this case we're going to be taking an image of a Garmin GPS unit. This process will work just about the same for Garmin, Magellan, and a couple of other brands. It will not however work the same for TomTom. TomTom units have their own process for taking images and it's not even close to what this process looks like. But Garmin's as well as some of those other brands are a little bit easier to take an image of because when you connect them to the computer through USB, they function a lot like an external hard drive would, where if I open up my computer, you can see that the Garmin device is clearly visible. So taking an image of a Garmin unit is very similar, if not identical, to taking an image of a generic drive. So the first step here is to open up FTK Imager, which is indeed a free program, so you can do this at home if you want to. And you're going to choose either Create Disk Image from the toolbar, or you can drop down File, and there's an option in here as well. In this case, being a GPS unit, we can create either a physical or a logical image. That's due to the fact that it's visible through the My Computer prompt, and it's visible to the computer itself. Now, the advantage of the physical image is that you'll get unallocated space, which could potentially contain some deleted files, things like that, maybe old log files, stuff that you might need. So we'll do a physical image here, and we'll say next. Now you're just going to drop this down and find your unit under here. In this case, I can see Garmin Newbie, so we'll choose that and say finish. Now I'll come back to this screen in a moment here, but for now we're just going to say add. And if you want to look up these format types on Google, there's a ton of information out there about them, but essentially from this screen you're going to choose what format you want your image in. In this case, we're going to use E01 and say next. Now if you want to fill in some information about what it is you're working on, you can. In this case, I'll just say Garmin GPS. I'll say next. Now you're going to choose where you're going to drop this. In this case, I'll create a folder on the desktop called Garmin Image. And we'll drop it right in there. And then you name your image. Just call it Garmin. Now these next three options here you can customize to your liking depending on what you're doing. The first one here is the fragment size. In this case, in most cases of GPSs, the 1500 megabyte default is probably more than enough, but if, say you were taking an image of a larger drive or by chance a GPS with a larger amount of storage, you might want to fragment your image into smaller chunks. And that just basically might make it easier for storage, but in this case, it's perfect as is. The next option allows you to choose how much compression you want on your image. In just about every case, the default of 6 is perfect, so we'll leave that alone. The last option here is whether or not you want to encrypt your image. This would require a password for you to open the image in the future. In this case, not really necessary, so we'll just say finish. Now, say you want to take multiple images from the same GPS unit. You could go back up to the Add button here and go through that same process again. Maybe you want multiple images in different formats or with or without encryption or with different file names. In that case, every time you go through Add, You'll just put another line in the image destinations box and you can create as many images with as many different configurations as you'd like. In this case, the one we already did is perfect, so we'll leave that alone and we'll say start. Now this process here depends on the amount of storage in your GPS unit. The more storage, the longer this is going to take. In a lot of cases with GPS units, there's not a whole lot of storage, so it won't be a terribly long time, but it can still take a while. Once the program is finished creating the image, you'll get this window here, which just has some information about the image. You'll get the various hash values for the image, which for each different type of hash, they should all match. And you'll also get on the bottom if the program happens to find any bad sectors, which in this case, we didn't find any. So we'll just say close and close again. And that's how you create an image using FTK Imager of a GPS unit. Now, real quick here, what we'll do is we'll add this image into Imager just so that you can see that it actually created and does indeed hold the GPS's data. So we'll browse out here to the desktop and find our Garmin image. Now, you'll get the image file as well as a text file. The text file holds some extra information such as those hash values we just saw. In this case, we want to open up the image file. So we'll choose that and say finish. And now you can see that we do indeed have all the information off of the GPS. This is Bill with the Pennsylvania Center for Digital Forensics.